Now, Chris, you have an interesting device here, and I understand it's very useful when you take it into developing areas which don't have a lot of access and ease to healthcare facilities. Sure, we try to implement a bit of a step change in the way that uh, ECG are acquired in the community. Uh, we've developed a, a mass screening device that requires no electrodes to be attached to the human body. This means that in turn we can actually screen people in 90 seconds for a whole range of uh, sort of heart rhythm problems. Uh, these you know, range from atrial fibrillation sort of down to the sort of heart performance. Um, if, you're on a, if you're on a new drug compound, for example, they could be, it could be used to actually see how your heart's performing with that drug compound. Alternatively, we can mass screen the community for, uh, uh, for, for large numbers of people in very quick time. And you're confident it's as accurate as what we're normally used to having for screening for these types of um, defects or elements? Sure. In our, in our, in our, uh, we use a US FDA cleared algorithm for doing the detection of the different uh, cardiac pathologies, etc., um, especially with the rhythm stuff. With regards to the actual sensors, the, the, our USP is really the sensors and the way that they work. And in our tests, we're showing about 105 to 108 percent accuracy against a normal 12 lead ECG. It's only a lead one ECG, but we're, we're much more accurate because of the signal to noise ratio that we've achieved with these sensors. This device seems like it would be useful anywhere in any health uh, facility, but particularly in developing areas. Why? Uh, just because it's a simple hand placement technology which allows you to, do, to basically do the lead one. There's no electrodes, there's no gels. You basically just put your hands on the device, wait 90 seconds, that's you done. Next, next candidate, please. So we can actually screen 30 people an hour with one device. It's designed to be portable. We've uh, built a screen into it so it can be used with health visitors in developing nations. It can be battery powered. And we've also got the power of 3G and mobile technology built into it so we can offload to wherever we want. Very good. Thank you so much, Chris. Well done.